We now want to differentiate natural exponential functions. It's important that you understand exponential form is y equals e to the x. Logarithmic form is x equals the natural log of y. Please notice that the logarithm is simply an exponent. Now ln stands for the log of y to the base e. e is that irrational number 2.71828 and it goes on continuously like the number pi does. Also we have inverse rules. The natural log and e to the power undo each other so we get x or if we take e to the natural log of x power we get x. Finally we have the derivative of the natural exponential form. Derivative e to the u is e to the u but then we have to apply the chain rule du dx. Let's see if we can solve for x in this equation. First thing we want to do is add 6 to both sides then we divide through by 3. So we're left 14 divided by 3. Now to undo the exponent of x, we take the natural log of both sides to the base e. And this undoes it, so we wind up with x equals the natural log of 14 divided by 3. So that would be our answer. We could, however, write an approximation to that, which would be 1.5404. Let's consider log natural log of 4x equal to 1. If we use that each of these as a power, we have e to the natural log of 4x equals e to the first. These undo each other, so we're left with 4x equals e to the first power. Divide through by 4, so x equals e divided by 4. Again, using our calculator, we could come up with 0.6796, and this is an approximation. Suppose we start with y equals e to the negative 3 divided by x squared. We're interested in the derivative. Let's first rewrite this in a more convenient form, e to the negative 3, x to the negative 2. To find the derivative, we rewrite the original function e to the negative 3x to the negative 2. Then we take the derivative of our u, which would be 6x to the negative 3. So in a more convenient form, we'd have e to the negative 3 over x squared with a 6 out in front and an x cubed in the denominator. Finally, let's look at the derivative of e to the x squared natural log of x. To take the derivative, we recopy the original function exactly as it is. And now we need to take the derivative of the exponent. Here we have a product, so we have to apply the product rule. x squared, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, plus the natural log of x times the derivative of x squared, which would be 2x. So combining terms, making it look a little nicer, we have e to the x squared natural log of x times x plus 2x natural log of x. And both of these terms of the binomial have an x, so we could in fact take an x out in front, and we'd be left with 1 plus 2 natural log of x.